It's not every day that you see artwork commemorated so well on silver. And here today we have three very cool, very unique, gold gilded framed, wonderful pieces of art commemorated in silver. Backyard Bullion here and a warm welcome to you all joining us for this week's edition of In Focus Friday, the show where we take a good close look at cool things made of silver or gold. And this week we have a triple header. In the big massive unboxing we did the other day, there were these three very cool looking coloured coins and we didn't actually show them. I kind of just put them to one side. I was distracted by the thousands of ounces of silver out on the table and a lot of you out there were asking about them. So I thought today would be a perfect triple header. So we've got three very cool, unique uh, pieces to showcase. Now these are all celebrating treasures of the world painting or treasures of world paintings. Uh, they are made by the Mint of Poland. They are coloured and gold gilded. They're really very, very nice indeed. Of course, they come at a premium. So if you are not a fan of premium pieces of silver, uh, these probably are not going to be for you. But as a appreciation of the kind of artwork and the actual coin uh, sort of design, they are pretty stunning indeed. Now they come in this kind of invisible uh, floating frame box. Now I'm not going to open this because these aren't mine and I don't really want to potentially spoil them or ruin them. I know that these invisible frames are pretty tricky sometimes to get back together perfectly. You know, they're all lined up as good as they can be. So I don't really want to open them as they are not my coin, but I do think we can still admire and see the absolute wonder of the creation of this coin. It's a coin, again, pushing the boundaries of what is defined as a coin, but it is technically a coin. Here it is. You don't see very many square coins. There have been quite a few um, rectangular coin bars made over the last couple of years, but this is kind of a nice, cool thing to see. And of course, the whole point of these coins is to represent uh, the painting, and it looks like a painting. So here we have the very famous uh, milk, make, milk made painting by the Dutch artist Johannes Vermeer. Of course, these are celebrating some of the most famous pieces of art out there in the world. And these are digitally printed onto the coins, which I think is really impressive. So there's definitely a lot of silver involved in this one ounce of silver, but the top layer of this is incredible in its detail. And it's sort of like, it does look like oil on canvas. I have to say, you'll have to excuse kind of the bubbling of the, um, of the sort of plastic frame there. But I think you can see when the light's just right, the actual textures of the you know, coin surface almost looks like the oil painting itself, which is wonderful. Of course, the gold gilding around the side representing the frame there and a perfect rendition of what a painting's frame would and should look like. So really interesting concept for a coin series. And I have to say it's done incredibly well. A lot of um, the premium market coins that you might see out there in this world can sometimes be a little bit lackluster. They don't necessarily have that's something that je ne sais quoi, let's say, that makes them stand out as cool or unique or having kind of really cool technology involved in them. But I think this one, and you'll see with the others when we unbox those and show you those, it really does show this absolutely incredible level of minting uh, detail and technology to get that done. And the, of course, the gold gilding is really, really crowning achievement on this coin. I think it's lovely. Uh, you know, in terms of the specifics of the coin, they're Newey Island, so uh, just nothing particularly relevant to Newey Island and uh, Vermeer and Dutch uh, kind of culture. But again, with these kind of coins, you have to have a backing sort of nation and Newey Island is one of those ones that tends to be used quite a lot for these kind of uh, coins. So I don't really have a problem with that. Some people will have issue with that, but you know, the, uh, the action is here on this side of the coin. It's all about the uh, painting itself. So that is the Milkmaid from Vermeer. Let's just put that one there to one side. Uh, I'm going to save the screen for last because that's my favourite of the lot. Here we have next the Hokusai Great Wave. Now this has actually been commemorated in coin form. Um, I have seen colourised versions of it as well, not official ones, but secondhand market colourised versions. But this one this is done really well. This is like this is much better than those colorized versions. The actual silver coin version of this is really nice too, but I have to say I am really a big fan of this piece of art. It's a very classical Japanese piece of art with Mount Fuji in the background and that huge great wave looking like it's going to consume it. It's a really really good good piece of art and I am a big 
fan of it. And this one really well, well represented on this coin here. Uh, again, we can see the, uh, the the back is the same. This is actually the 2020 edition. Uh, I have read a few um, sort of mis well, not misleading, a few confusing things about how many there are going to be in the series. I've read that the Vermeer was the third and final re release in it, but um, uh, I think that's what I'm, I seem to remember reading. Or was it the screen that's third and final release? But there's many, many in the series. There are lots of other ones. There's also um, coins celebrating great American artworks um, and um, like Whistler's Mother and things like that. So there's, there's a whole load of different ones of these available. And I don't know if there's a particular series limitation in terms of how many there will be. Um, but, you know, I still think they're really cool as individual pieces. And if you are a big fan of a particular piece of art or a particular artist, this is a really cool thing. I mean, in terms of investments, I think everybody's got to look at these as uh, or take them with a pinch of salt, because ultimately these are not cheap pieces of silver. I think in the grand scheme of things, compared with some of the other offerings out there of uh, premium coloured coins or premium collector items, these are some of the nicest that I've seen out there. I'll definitely give them that. In terms of being um, you know, an investment that you can actually make money on in the future, it will be very much sort of in the air as to whether or not that is possible. Um, but ultimately, you know, maybe, 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 a lot of the things that are going in favor of these is the production quality, and also the fact that the paintings themselves have their own kind of follow and fan base, which will inevitably garner attention to them. The last here is, of course, Edward Munch's The Scream, one of probably the most famous paintings that we could probably all relate to or see, and especially relevant in this 2020. That expression is kind of how I feel about 2020, or also how I feel sometimes when I am faced with 1,800 ounces of silver that I need to individually pack up with lots of other people's orders. So yeah, it's a really kind of cool finish to this. I like, the, I actually really like the contrasting colour of the background uh, gold gilding with the colours of the painting itself. I think it's actually really very elegant. It's very, you know, the other two here, we've got kind of a much more classical uh, sort of piece of art, as it were, with the uh, the milkmaid oil painting, very kind of quintessentially. I'm no art critic. I don't really know what I'm talking about when it comes to art. But that, you know, it's very quintessential sort of oil canvas painting. This is much more, of course, sort of modernist, expressionist, uh, and just very different. And I prefer this kind of artwork. I have to say it's really good. Um, so there we go. Those are the kind of three coloured gold gilded, I say coloured, they're kind of digitally printed, gold gilded, painting, piece of artworks on silver. Uh, I think they're pretty cool. I think they're very special and definitely make awesome looking display pieces. Like, I really think that they've kind of done, you know, the Mint of Poland has done a really good job on this. And the Mint of Poland generally has done quite a lot of really good work uh, generally on special edition coins, antique, gold gilded uh, and things as well. So you can see here Mint of Poland doing good work. And I have to say, I am impressed with these coins and also with other coins that I've seen in their series. So job well done from the Mint of Poland, in my opinion. So if you guys are interested in these, let me know. It's always nice to know if these videos inspire people to go and purchase them. There are many different vendors out there, I think, that can sell them. Uh, these were obviously purchased from the European Mint, and I, from a very quick search, those seem to be some of the most competitively priced versions of these out there. I think the Scream is sold out, but there are a few left at the time of filming. I'm, I'm reading that now that there's four of those left from the European Mint, and there are... Well, there's only one, in fact, left of the Hokusai Great Waves, and the screen is sold out from the European Mint. So maybe there'll be some others from other places, but if you are interested in them, go and check out the European Mint. So a uh, big thank you to uh, the owner of these for uh, buying them, and uh, we've got them here to show. He's actually got one more uh, piece still to come, which was not in the last box uh, by design, because it was still waiting to be delivered to the European Mint. So hopefully that will arrive within the next box and we can give you all a little sort of overview of what that last one is. I forget off the top of my head exactly which painting it is and I can't find, oh no, here it is. Uh, it's gonna be the the Threatened Swan, uh, which is a good one. So I'll try and uh, get that one done. Yeah, that's uh, that looks a really, it's gonna be in the theme again of this sort of classic looking oil painting. So I'll definitely try and show that if, we, if and when we get that in uh, our uh, group order. But otherwise, let me know your thoughts on these. Put a thumbs up if you are enjoying these coins, if you enjoy what they are all about and the artwork that goes into them. And let me know your thoughts generally on the series down below. And if you have not subscribed to our channel and you like this kind of content, then make sure you do because nearly 70% of all the views on our channel at the moment are from people who are not subscribed. 
and we're eking ever closer to 30,000 subscribers, which according to Social Blade will be hit around Christmas. Literally at the moment it says Christmas Day is 30,000 subs predictions. So that would be quite the achievement to get a nice Christmas present on Christmas Day, but ideally it'd be lovely to do it beforehand so I can just relax on Christmas Day without checking my sub count. But if you have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, put the alarm bell on if you'd like to get notifications. Otherwise, that's all from me. A big thank you to you all for watching. See you on the next one. As always, please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.